Hey, what's going on guys? Kenny here, and today we're going to be going over the awesome new feature that was introduced in Minecraft 1.7.4, that being live streaming straight to Twitch, pretty much one-click streaming. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into this. So the first step we're going to want to do is go ahead and go to your Mojang account on Mojang.com and go to your account settings. And now you'll notice in a new little uh, panel right here that says connect to Twitch account, you're going to want to go ahead and click that. That's going to bring you to twitch.tv and you're going to need to log in. This will be authorizing Mojang to use your account. And of course, as we're trying to do that, you're going to want to authorize it. And that'll bring you to one final screen where you got to click the purple authorize button. And after you've done that, it'll bring you back to your settings and you are now authorized. Now, if you have Minecraft open still, you're going to want to go ahead and reopen the client, close everything, and then open it up again. And if you go into your options, and under broadcast settings, you will now notice this being populated with a whole bunch of settings. And this is exactly what we want. Now, these settings are pretty specific depending on your location and internet speed, specifically the quality and bandwidth. I found that these settings work the best for my system and my internet speed. These will be different for you guys, more than likely. I have found that the a quality of 0.170 bits per pixel works perfectly for me. Obviously, you have if you have a better computer, better internet connection, you can go ahead and pump that one up. I I went ahead and locked my frame rate at 60 frames per second to the highest that it can possibly go because I, my computer can handle that. And I set the bandwidth to 2993 kilobits per second because that is pretty much what my internet can handle without having too much latency between uh, my live event to what is actually being shown to the viewers. Now, send metadata is pretty straightforward. If you want metadata to be sent or not, there's two different settings, on or off. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that on on. Now, mic volume controls how loud your microphone is going to be to your viewers. Obviously, mine is at 100% because that's what I tested it at and that is what works best for me. It will be different depending on what mic you guys are using, obviously. Now, over here, we have system volume. Now, this is going to be how loud your system volume is. This includes everything outside of Minecraft. That'll be any music you've got playing, Spotify, on Spotify, Pandora, or however you're playing your music, Skype, all of that is controlled by this system volume. You can control this depending on how you like it. Now we have the push to, this controls the push to talk button that we will go over in the controls. It is controlling whether you wanna have this button to be able to talk or you want it to mute yourself. Either way, uh, you can choose whichever you prefer. And compression, generally I figured that this was better to be left at high because a higher compressed video means a lower file, therefore a little bit less latency from when you are live to what is being actually shown to your viewers. Now up next, we have the Twitch chat settings. These are gonna be controlling the Twitch chat panel on your actual live stream. Generally, you're gonna to wanna to set this to never. What happens is when someone chats, if this is set to will streaming or always, then whenever anyone's chats in your Twitch chat box, it'll be sent to your client. Now this could be really annoying if you have a whole bunch of viewers all chatting at once and it's just clogging up your chat. So it's usually best to set it to never. You may have some special circumstances where you want certain people to be able to comment. In which case, you can set this to enable while streaming or always. I'll set it to while streaming and then you can change the filter. There's subscribers and also moderators. What this means is only the moderators can chat in this or only the subscribers can chat. This is talking about what is being sent to your client. I'm gonna go and set this back to never. Now, finally, we have the broadcast server list. This is gonna pop up a whole bunch of different Twitch servers and you're gonna to want to select the one that is closest to your location. Right now, it is generating the pings on each server. You're gonna to wanna to choose the one with the lowest ping. If you go ahead and scroll right down, closest one to my location is San Francisco. I went ahead and clicked on it and that sets it to your preferred server. Go and hit done. And now we are all set up. We can start to fiddle around with the controls next. So back in the main settings menu, you're gonna to wanna to go and hit the controls button. And this will bring up all of your controls and scroll all the way to the bottom where you've got your streaming tab. You've got your control to pause or unpause the stream. And then here's your push to talk button. This can either control whether you're talking, you have to hold it down to talk, or whether you want it to, when you hold it down, it'll mute. Remember that is set in the broadcast settings. That is another menu. Now next you can go ahead and set a button to show commercials on your stream when you hit the button. And finally, we have the start slash stop stream. That is set to F6. These are all the defaults. These settings look fine for now, so let's go ahead and go back to in-game. Now in-game, we can go ahead and hit 
F6 to start the stream. And as soon as we do that, you can see the little red circle with a microphone next to it that pops up. The microphone is symbolizing that we do have a live microphone on the stream. And the red circle is obviously that we are live. Now, this is not going to be visible to your uh, to your viewers on your stream. It's just visible to you. As soon as you start getting viewers on the stream, there will be a little tiny box with a number and it'll tell you how many viewers are currently watching your stream. Other than that, guys, I think that's about it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com, and I will be more than willing to help you out with any questions that you have. And if you guys have any ideas for tutorials, definitely shoot me an email. Um, once again, there's going to be some big changes coming up on this channel in the upcoming weeks. Uh, so look forward to that, guys. Anyways, I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and head out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.